Welcome back to Pearl Mr. Channel. In this video, we are continuing from our previous episode on common pitfalls in solar system installation. This time, we will dive into more mistakes to avoid when setting up your solar system to ensure optimal performance and longevity. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Inconsistent installation heights in power assistant. In a power system, each inverter or controller should be installed at the same height to ensure stable and uniform electrical connections and proper current distribution. If the installation height of the inverters is inconsistent, it could lead to unequal cable lengths, inconvenience in maintenance and monitoring, and uneven heat dissipation. Furthermore, in power systems, it is crucial that the cables connecting the batteries to each inverter are of equal lengths. If the lengths are unequal, it could affect the balance distribution of current and cause inconsistent voltage drops due to light resistance, which may lead to discrepancies in information detection between some inverters, causing overloads or reducing the overall efficiency of the system. Missing or untraceable equipment labels In the installation and operation of photovoltaic systems, the traceability of equipment labels is an often overlooked but extremely important aspect. The label functions as the equipment's identity card, carrying key technical parameters, safety information, and the serial number. During installation, Product labels should be properly maintained for easy identification, reference of technical parameters, and troubleshooting. If labels are damaged or lost, it could make it difficult to identify the equipment, complicating maintenance and possibly affecting warranty or claims. Therefore, it is vital that labels are kept visible and intact during the design installation and maintenance stages of the photovoltaic system. Neglecting the importance of solar panel cleaning After the photovoltaic system is installed, some people may overlook the importance of regularly cleaning the solar panels. Dust, bird droppings, and other debris can block the surface of the panels, reducing light absorption. Localized contamination may also cause some cells to overheat, forming hot spots that not only decrease power generation efficiency but can also damage the cells. For instance, in a 10 kW home system made up of 40 solar panels, the average annual power output may be 12,000 kWh in the first year, but if cleaning is neglected, the output could drop to 9,500 kilowatt hour in the second year, the reduction of more than 20%. This would result in a loss of about $500 in energy production, not to mention irreversible damage to the panel due to the hot spots. Regular cleaning is crucial for ensuring the long-term efficiency operation of the photovoltaic system. It is not only necessary for maintenance, but also an important step in protecting the investment. Incorrect cleaning of solar panels Using a high-pressure water gun to clean solar panels can cause serious damage. The strong impact may crack the glass surface, allowing water to seep inside and create short circuits. It can also damage the seal land around the edges, letting moisture enter and compromise the panel's internal components. Additionally, using abrasive tools like a seal wool can scratch the surface, reducing light transmission and lowering energy output. These scratches may also accelerate material degradation over time. Harsh chemicals such as strong acids or alkalites can accrue the protective layers of the panels, shortening their lifespan. Environmental conditions matter too. Cleaning solar panels when they are extremely hot, such as at midday under directly sunlight, can cause a sudden temperature change, leading to cracks. In short, improper cleaning can damage the panels, reduce efficiency, and create safety risks. 
to clean down correctly, use softer tools, specialized solar panel cleaners, and follow proper cleaning products to maintain their performance and longevity. Neglecting inverter dust and dirt protection. Installing a solar inverter in a dusty environment without proper dust protection can cause a range of problems that severely impact its performance, lifespan, and the overall operation of the system. Dust buildup on the inverter's heat sinks and the cooling fans can block heat dissipation. Why conductive particles in the dust may enter the inverter and cause electrical issues. Additionally, dust covering circuit boards and connection points can degrade electrical performance and cross substances in dust, such as soil or acidic particles, may erode internal components. To protect the inverter and ensure long-term efficiency, it's crucial to install it in a clean environment. Use dust covers if necessary and perform regular maintenance. These preventive measures help keep the system running efficiently and reliability over time. Incorrect charging parameter settings. Solar charge controllers and all-in-one solar inverter charge batteries by adjusted voltage parameter to match battery requirements, ensuring safe and sustainable energy storage. However, failing to directly follow the battery manufacturer's recommended charging settings can lead to problems like overcharging, undercharging, excessive or insufficient current, and improper temperature compensation. These issues can shorten battery lifespan and significantly reduce overall system efficiency. Before configuring charging parameters, always refer to battery menu for the correct settings. For example, with the Pro M60 Ultra Charge Controller and the 16 cell lithium iron phosphate battery, selecting the L16 preset will automatically apply the appropriate voltage settings. Similarly, with a pose on smart SP5K inverter, choosing LFP16 ensure optimal charging for 16 cell lithium iron phosphate battery. Proper configuration is key to maintaining battery health and maximizing system performance. Incorrect installation of current transformers. Improper installation of current transformers can result in inaccurate measurements failure of protection functions, equipment damage, or even safety hazards. To ensure correct installation, always follow these guidelines. Correct orientation The city's arrow should align with the direction of current flow in the light it is measuring. For example, with a post on smart LV12K inverter, Operating in grid time mode, the city installed on the grid light should have its arrow point towards utility grid to ensure accurate current measurement and system protection. Installation on live wire CDs must be installed on live wire, with each phase requiring a separate CD for accurate current measurement. Use manufacturer provided CDs. To avoid compatibility issues, always use the CT applied with the inverter, as they are specifically designed to match the system's actual current levels. Using incorrect CTs can lead to measurements errors or even CT failure. By ensuring proper installation and conducting regular inspections, you can maintain accurate current monitoring and ensure the safe, stable operation of your solar system. That wraps up this episode on common mistakes in solar system installation. If you found this series helpful, please give us a like to support us. Our goal is to share these often overlooked mistakes to help every solar DIY enthusiast avoid unnecessary pitfalls. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.